such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... Howdy, viewers. Brad Prider of Barstool Entertainment, returning to the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is my fourth playthrough. I decided to do a video about a very pivotal character in Red Dead Redemption 2, Thomas Downs. This is a man who just seemingly, if you're playing and not bothering to get into the real depth of the game, seems like a random character who ends up giving Arthur tuberculosis and ultimately seals his fate. But you can encounter Thomas Downs several times before the fateful confrontation. And so I'm going to put this video together, kind of highlighting the encounters and ultimately Arthur is locked into his fate regardless. So let's get on with Thomas Downs. If you ride into Valentine before polite society, Valentine style, you'll run into Thomas Downs. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... <coughs> use your strength to help the weak. How about you, sir? Hello, Hello sir. Mister. Wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen you. You get a lot of money doing this? Not much. But it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Well, I do. And who do you help? I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Come on, please. Please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. He's running a charity, and you just tell him, buzz off. Then the next time you'll encounter him is if you go into the saloon with Javier and Charles. Arthur gets into a fight, and Thomas Downs breaks it up. Hey, come on, stop that! Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Herr Strauss will be very persistent with Arthur in collecting the debt. If Arthur reads the letter from Mary Linton, his fate is essentially sealed. Herr Strauss will talk to him again about Thomas Downs. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Herr Strauss. I had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Now Arthur's fate is sealed. He can't get away from it. 
He can run away, he can do what he wants, but he can't fast travel. He just has to ride and go to Thomas Downs Ranch and, well, basically get tuberculosis. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? I'm here. There's a reason I'm here. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife. Or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. After this... Arthur interacts with Herr Strauss another time, and then the final time when he has to collect the debt from Mrs. Downs when she sells the ranch and becomes a prostitute. But I think I did a video on that. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. As stated before, this is not the last time Herr Strauss talks to Arthur about Thomas. Arthur has to go and collect the debt from Mrs. Downs, which drives her into becoming a prostitute. Again, I think I did a video about this. I'll leave links in the description below. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game videos a week, Sunday through Saturday, and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.